Radium-223 has been really kind of a new area in the field, and, and I like this drug a lot because uh, it, it's a completely novel mechanism. It's a, it's a high um, density um, radionucleotide with very short penetrance. Uh, when you think about this, it's, it's quite amazing that this drug improves survival in a patient population in the control arm that lived about a year. Uh, this drug resulted in about a 30% improvement in overall survival for the population. Um, and and, it, and it, it really is kind of focal therapy. It's a, it's a calcium emetic that's deposited in areas of bone where there's uh, um, you know, nuclear uptake. And, uh, and we can see this um, treatment effect really in terms of overall survival, but not necessarily in terms of PSA response or imaging response. So it's been challenging to figure out in our real world practice how do you use this? How do you educate patients around it? How do you manage um, expectations around this? And uh, what we learned most recently from ERA223 data presented at ESMO, how do you support this um, uh, risk of complications, particularly the risk of fractures, which was higher when we added radium to abiraterone in the upfront setting. And that was a new finding. That was not something we'd seen before with radium uh, in uh, more advanced disease settings where they've been already heavily pretreated. So it really suggests there's something about that early disease state um, and, and the use of radium in that setting in the presence of apparatoron prednisone. So because of that, there's a warning against combining those agents together. And that's how that's changed our practice. But I am comfortable using radium as a monotherapy because it's really unique in class, because bone, particularly in these high bone met metastatic burden patients, is a driver of mortality. And, and this is a unique way of controlling that microenvironment in these, uh, in these patients. So I'd like to be able to work this into my regimen, whether that be before chemotherapy or after chemotherapy, really depends on the, the clinical progression.